everyone welcome back to my channel i'm super excited to film this video it's just going to be my base routine trying some new products and i'm really excited to use them on camera because um i'm just really excited so i did want to say a couple weeks ago i tried that nars foundation and i hated it that new light reflecting one so I decided to pick up the LYS, and originally I got the wrong shade. Originally I bought MN3, and that was too dark for me. So then I just got my new order with the new one in, and I was able to give the other one to a friend, which is awesome because there was nothing wrong with it, it was just the wrong shade. So I'm happy she'll be able to have that, and I just want to use them. I got the matching concealer, which is beautiful okay so let's start um yesterday when i did my makeup i used this so i want to use it again this is the charlotte tilbury magic cream this is a little mini i bought this um a couple of years ago it's technically probably expired but what can you do i just washed my hair we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with whatever's happening okay so i used the magic cream with it yesterday and i thought it was really pretty i also got a big magic cream from octoly so i'm trying to use this little one up so we can dip into that one um but i uh, already put my drunk elephant c firma on and that's my um that's my number one skincare product and i'm just gonna put this down my neck i have worked later today i have therapy in like 50 minutes so I, that's why I wanted to just film my base, but that's also what I was most excited for to use today, my base product, so I'm excited. I hope you're excited to be here as well. Um, I'm in a pretty good mood. Um, just living, living my life, you know? So I have a Sonia Kashuk sponge. It's already damp. Um, I'm using that to kind of sheer out this LYS foundation because it is medium to full coverage, but with a sponge, it shears it out that little bit, which puts it at the perfect, um, coverage level for me personally. And again, this is the shade MN1, and it is quite yellow, um, but once I get it on, you guys, I'm like so proud of this foundation mass match. So I've been just taking it on my finger and like spreading it first and then going in like are you for real right now and I'm gonna do a little on my forehead not too much um, I'm not really gonna put any foundation like on the corners of my forehead like a lot just because I have bangs right now so I'm just gonna kind of put it in the middle and I also since this is such a good color I don't really need to put it over that spot and let's do more in here because this is where I have some trouble where my acne around my nose starts and this foundation is only $22 now I know money is relative blah 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 but for how beautiful it is on my skin, I think it's a steal. I'm going to dip directly into that to put it on my problem areas, add a little more coverage. And I think I only used about half a pump. Should I turn this light off and just use natural lighting? Oh, my nose ring. Turn that in. Doesn't, like, look at my chin. I have such issues with my chin because <sighs> permanent masking damage, honestly. Um, and for the foundation, so the shade darker was way too yellow, whereas this, I feel, neutralized my skin super well. I'm going to put my light back on. Just gonna lower it okay amazing and then the concealer was 18 um i got the shade ln6 so light neutral six 
Um, it was the last light shade before medium N1. I did purchase medium N1 too by mistake, so I got both in. Um, and I used this one first just to see and it was perfect. So the same friend that I gave the darker foundation to, I'm sending her the darker concealer. Um, so that will be great for her because it's going to match her perfectly. Um, the only con with this concealer, it's a little hard to get out and hard to get back in because of the angle of the doe foot into this tiny, tiny hole. But... I'm okay with it because it's beautiful. And matches me perfectly. Look how well it canceled out that redness on my spot. I think this concealer is medium coverage with a natural finish, I can't remember. Um, but I feel like I have relatively pigmented under eyes, so having that medium coverage really just cancelled it out, and I think it looks spectacular. I'm really, like impressed when I got this in the mail yesterday, I tried it on, and it was one of those where I tried all the products I'm going to use on today. And I, like, went to my husband and I was like, look how beautiful my skin looks. Like, I, f I feel like a million bucks. And I know I have relatively good skin and I'm very grateful for my skin. But the way that this product looks on it, I feel is just... Watch out. Okay. Um, like, I just... You know, I love it. And that's how makeup should be and should feel. And especially after having tried that NARS foundation and it, I me hating it. I'm like just so excited to have like one that I find beautiful. It doesn't really crease. I do find with this concealer in maybe about 10 minutes, you're going to just want to blend it one more time to get it out of like I have that crease right there. I'm a human being. Like what do you expect from me? So, <laughs> um I just have to blend that little crease out, but that's really not crazy to me because I'm a human being. Next, I already owned this, but I'm re-dipping into it. It's absolutely stunning. This is the LYS No Limits Matte Bronzer in the shade Motivate, which is light. I picked this up from BoxyCharm. Maybe in uh, November time. This is a powder that applies like a cream. It's like satin, but not shimmery. It's beautiful. So... Let me make sure I'm in the frame. So I'm taking a Real Techniques 227, uh, the light layer powder brush, and I'm just going to pick it up and just buff it onto the outer, or you know, the bronzing areas of my skin. And, I, and you know, you guys know how much I use cream bronzer. So for me to be like, this powder bronzer is beautiful. Look at that. I feel like it's a very, um, oop, that was a lot. It's like a no, not no struggle, like no hassle to apply, like really easy to just put on. And the shade is perfect for me. Again, I feel like I'm a light medium skin tone. I hope the lighting is giving doing this justice. This got a little patchy here, but I had this weird spot last night when I was washing my makeup off. It looked so weird right there, so I don't I'm not blaming that on the bronzer. It was just weird. And then one of the this is I'm just going to switch to brows real quick. Um, this is the Maybelline Fast Sculpt, Brow Fast Sculpt Gel Mascara. I got the shade Deep Brown. I got this because of Emily Noel 83, and it's a little liquidy, so I do feel I need to be careful when I apply it. Like, you really don't want to get this on your skin. But, once you do that, perfect. 
and I feel like because my skin is a light to medium coverage, just doing a brow gel, um, my brows are able to stand on their own without it looking like she has a full face of makeup on and no eyebrows. See? Lovely. And this is a drugstore product. You can't beat that. Just don't get it on your skin. It does not come off well. And then a product I was very excited to try. I feel foolish for not having tried this brand before, but there wasn't really a color that intrigued me until this came out. And this is the Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Bronzer. And I got the shade She's Blushing. And let me just show it to you. beautiful so i'm personally going to do the pow uh, the cream first and then decide if i want to go in with the powder and i'm taking the sephora 47 foundation brush this i picked up because of julia adams she used this all the time and i just caved and i got it but i'm just going to swipe it in I feel like this combination of products, it's just perfect. Like the perfect tones, perfect for my skin. They just, I just feel so pretty wearing these products. And then let's do the other side. Another reason too why I'm not doing eyes on camera is I haven't decided what color shirt I'm gonna wear to work yet, and I like to match. I'm one of those girls. And then obviously I like to match my earrings. Whatever's left over I'm putting on my nose, and then I'm dragging into the literal center of my face under my under eye. It's so pretty. I do think I am gonna top it with the powder just so we get the full experience, even though I'm doing it incorrectly compared to him, but. This is the Smashbox Buildable Cheek, my favorite powder blush brush. I'm just gonna dip in once and just set over that area. I feel like this side is like really I I pick this brush over like my Food Aid brushes for blush. That's how good it is. Ooh, little hair. Beautiful. Let's go in. You see that under eye crease? In my eye crease. It's not like it's just creasing to crease. It's in my eye crease. Just gonna go in. Tap it out. There are a good few concealers I feel I have to do that with, so it's not, um, it's not weird to me, you know, like I think it's pretty reasonable because I have a crease there. And then I thought about this highlighter earlier this morning, and I was like, you know what, we're gonna use it. What brush did I like to use? Yeah, let's use something like this. So we're gonna take the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder and Highlight 01. And this highlight is beautiful. I picked mine up at a TJ Maxx or Marshalls in 2020. So I'm gonna take the Moda brush I got in a BoxyCharm once, and I'm just gonna lightly like dance it over and then apply. And I feel like this glow that it gives is like if I were a little baby cherub, okay, floating around, this is what the cheeks would look like. It would be a little like, like, I hope the camera's catching it. Just 
beautiful. I love cherubs, they're so cute. I'm sorry, is that not? And I'm pretty sure this was like $12.99. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. All right, so this is my base complete. I might, I'm debating on whether or not I should powder my under eyes because I am going to be looking down a lot today. And I want to give this concealer like its best chance. I think I am going to lightly powder the under eye. Yeah, so I'm going to take my, I don't think I've used this brush on camera in a while, the Coyuto, I think this was their highlighter brush from the Cherry Blossom set. I'm going to take my Pat McGrath powder and I'm just going to really gently set directly my eye bag and just pull it down a little. I feel like some of the dryness happening in my inner corner is my own fault and not the products so we're gonna just ignore that again let's do the other side I've really been enjoying this uh, Pat McGrath under eye powder I have the shade um, light yeah this inner corner nonsense is not any of the products fault but yeah, this is my completed base look. And again, last night I didn't use the highlighter and I didn't set it, but just with the blush and the bronzer and the foundation, I just felt so like beautiful. I don't know, like if this is what my skin could look like every day, I would be a cherub. And then the brows and then my forehead. I am pretty impressed. I really don't know what my hair is going to do with this, with this curl. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. I am really impressed with these LYS products, including the bronzer, which I already had the bronzer, like I said, because I got it in BoxyCharm, but I just hadn't used it in a while. And for my skin tone, this color is per. I did order the medium one as well because they were half off on BoxyCharm. Just looking at it, it looked that little bit too deep for me. So I sent that one to my friend as well. So she's going to be obsessed. Can't wait for her to try it. But the blush, I feel foolish. I'm embarrassed for having not tried Patrick Ta blushes before. This is beautiful. And this color is perfect for me. Um, I don't know if he'll ever come out with another one as perfect as this tone. Again, this was She's Blushing. It's perfect for me, and I'm so happy. I would like to try the bronzer one day, but that stuff's been out of stock for, like, the last century. So let me just get both sides to try to curl this wing thing. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, the concealer foundation, again, I really like it. I haven't worn it all day yet, so today will be my first day doing that. So I'll probably leave a pinned comment on my results. And yeah, I hope you guys liked today's video. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye.